Why was Wali Ele Ele killed? Extortion and corruption. That was why Wali Ele Ele was killed. If the police, Lagos the police command, if Nigeria police want to solve the problem of police killing and brutality, they need to look at the root cause. It's extortion. Everywhere around Lagos, police officers are extorting the people. They have power of gun, but they don't have power of phones like politicians. Politicians have access to phones, they can steal and all that. But those officers, apart from maybe their bosses, the commissioner of police and co, they don't have access to phones. And they are not well paid. And they feel that since they are not well paid, let's take our aggression on the people. Extortion. They extort the poorest of the poor. The bike men, the tricycle, they extort them. Extortion is the reason why Wali Ele killed, was killed. If no police officer is collecting 100 naira, 50 naira from, 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 from tricycles who are already paying their tax to the government, both local government and states, he will not be killed. The commissioner of police, the DPO have been passing, seeing their men extorting people, they do nothing about it. But once a police officer kills a citizen and the people are rising in protest, they send their reinforcements to quell down the issue. Extortion must stop, it's all law. If you go all around Alimo Shore today, you will see them, they are still extorting. Even here in Meron today, I saw them. Extorting the people for what? The Nigerian police, the Lagos State Police, have zero crisis management skills. Zero. After Wali Ali Ali was stabbed, nobody else needed to have died. All the police should have done, the responsible police should have quickly done a press conference, acknowledge what has happened, and tell the people they should be rest assured they are going to solve the problem. And pray the police officer immediately, publicly. But no, they deploy forces to come and quell the people. And you will see the, the lack of crisis management even during the census. You will see the lack of crisis management even in every riot. And it's not the young officers alone. It is from the top. It is from the top. What they believe in is excessive show of force, violence. And the problem about violence, violence does not stop violence. Violence does not stop agitation. It can pause it. People can simmer down. But when it happens again, they will rise up. What stop agitation? What stop violence? It's proper police work, investigation, assessing the situation before what? Before, you know, coming after the people. But no, officers did not assess the situation. They just came with the advance and they are, ah, we have a head, yes. What if we kill people? And they started shooting at citizens, innocent citizens, causing chaos, disturbing businesses. What have the leaders in the police done? in terms of police reform, so that we will not have another answer. I can tell you absolutely nothing. They did a community police and the youth uh, community discussion some months ago. Guess what? They did not invite Nigerian youth. They invited a member of a particular political party. Alone. Is one party the only youth in this Lagos? Some of our coming went there to, you know, to crash the place and all that. But you see, they didn't want the real people, the real community to attend. They are joking about police reform. They don't even know what to do. They are not interested. And we must, the people, must rise up to make sure they do the right thing. They don't even want to hear the truth. When you tell an army policeman the truth, I was the boy, the policeman, and he was trying to explain extortion to me that they have to extort. You don't pick and shook another man. Now, the commissioner of police was saying, we don't move around with knife, and I was laughing. We see them every day with knife at their side. Why is he denying and lying again? Why do our leaders lack the capacity to take responsibility for a situation? You are the commissioner of police. You are the one leading these people. Take responsibility for the situation of things. If the commissioner of police cannot take responsibility, then we are doomed in our society. But before we get to that level of anarchy, we are going to demand for justice. The Peace Over Movement have said it already. And the Commission of Police is due for resignation. Since the Oduma Sue should resign, he has failed the law. The killing of Lekki, the killing in Alamosa, happened under his coordination. Enough is enough. If you cannot do the job, you leave the job alone for another person to come and do it. And the DPO of Mero should also resign. If you cannot make sure that there is proper justice for the victims that died. Whether two, whether three, people died. And there must be justice. And we are demanding as a movement on the resignation of the Commission of Police. Enough is enough. They are not killing under his regime. If you resign, we take responsibility.